A 7 News update now. A decision on Santee Cooper's future could be looming. Today, a panel of House members got an update from the state-owned utility on what they've been up to the last few months. Our Jason Raven was there and tells us what could be next for the state's largest power provider. Before the COVID-19 pandemic shortened this last legislative session, South Carolina lawmakers were considering three options for the state-owned utility to sell it, reform, or allow another company to manage it. Over the last few months, Santee Cooper says they've been implementing some of the ideas they laid out in their reform plan. We have rate locks in place. We have hedges in place. And we're comfortable that we can operate in, in, in that environment. They are working on taking coal fire plants offline, have frozen their rates for most customers for the next four years, and a newly formed House committee questioned the utility Wednesday. But we don't feel like we're getting factually accurate information. And then we feel like we're dismissed. Representative Kirkman, Finley, and other lawmakers on the committee were critical of Santee Cooper's deal to refinance some of their debt. Now, in the move, Santee Cooper ended up borrowing another $100 million, adding to their debt total, which stands at around $6 billion, and almost half of it is from the failed VC Summer Nuclear Project. If this had simply been a rate refinance for exactly the same amount of money, no one would have said a word because everyone would have said it's great to pay less interest. It's the additional 100 million that's made everybody very uncomfortable. Santee Cooper says this was needed to help pay for improvements and keep their rates low for ratepayers in the coming years. The Office of Regulatory Staff ruled Santee Cooper did not break the law by doing this. I believe that this staff, this organization, acts in good faith and is trying to do the right thing. It's a complicated enterprise complicated enterprise. The committee did not take any action Wednesday. Push it forward, I think, very quickly. I look forward to a vigorous floor debate and really to trying to make an agency a little more accountable to the people of South Carolina. Representative Finley says he expects this topic to be one of the first thing the House takes up in 2021. From the State House, Jason Raven, 7 News. By the way, Santee Cooper helps provide power in some way to nearly 2 million South Carolinians, either directly or through electric cooperatives.